pro boxing fans here in London just concluded Joe Joyce Azile Zhang in um, weighing with me Hamza Shura is doing a pundit duties for Queensbury promotions uh, talk to me man how you been Alhamdulillah I've been great I've been great um, I was in Dubai a few days ago enjoying life out there I'm back now and just freezing out here bro how are you you good I'm cold man I'm cold I know obviously when it's like this and you're fasting it's a bit more colder to the body but let's talk about yourself um, obviously last time out convincing win against uh, River Wilson Ben. Um, we saw him fight Amor Williams. Uh, it was a bit tougher for Amor than it was for yourself. Just talk to him about the level that you believe you're at compared to, compared to these guys right now. I, I believe I'm at the top. I believe I'm at the top of 160. I've been calling for it, especially within the Frank Warren promotion names. You've got Denzel Bentley and Nathan Heaney. I'm all for it, bro. I'm all for it. Give me them opportunities and, I, and I'll show you what, what I'm about. But going back to what you were saying about uh, Amo Williams' performance against uh, River River Wilson Bent. It just goes to show, really, like what I'm capable of doing on a, on, on a good day and how I go about my business. Obviously, you can't take too much from it. You can take a little bit from it, but you can't take too much from it. And I can take that. I'd love to fight Amo Williams. He's, he's, he's someone in the 160-pound division, and if he's in my way to stopping me from winning a world title, then, then, then so be it, and he has to get beaten. We just saw um, Denzel Bentley weigh in. Obviously, he holds the, holds the British title to that division. Um, in your eyes, how is this going to pan out? Because there's a few obstacles in the way they could be eliminated from certain fighters. Denzel could end up vacating. In your eyes, how do you think this plays out for you to get that title? Uh, I think I don't think Denzel's going to have a problem. Really, I don't think he have a problem unless he unless he unless he uh, overlooks him. Unless he overlooks Kieran Smith because Kieran Smith's got nothing to lose. Really and truly, he's over here. He's having a crack at the British. If he wins, happy days. If he loses, he, he does his thing. Like, it is what it is. So, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be, it's gonna definitely going to be a good fight for as long as it lasts, but I see Denzel getting him out there. When are we expecting you out next? What's, what's uh, a pro projected date for yourself? Uh, hopefully, end of June, early July. Or, but we're looking more towards the July date. Um, I have my surgery on my hands recovered. Oh, good, Alhamdulillah. Uh, just looking forward to getting in and out. I'll go to camp after Ramadan finishes. Literally a day after Eid, I'm out in America. I'll be out there for about nine, ten weeks, grafting away, perfecting my craft. And um, let's see what, what fight they give me. And hopefully it's a bit of a step up or a step up or a fight that makes people make ooh and ah. Do you know, it gives them a bit of ooh and an ah in because I want to like, I want one of them fights now. Where it wakes me up, you know what I mean? It wakes me up and, and it just gets me ready to go. Last time I spoke to you, you said, listen, it's time now, man. I want them titles. I want to come. Uh, it's strap season. Um, it is strap season now. A lot of people are looking forward to you. You've been a poster boy for BT's boxing for a little while now. And people are looking for that step up. At the end of this year, is that when you're anticipating some sort of some sort of massive step up? 100% like now. Give me, give me, give me it whenever I fight. July, give me a step up. Uh, whenever. Just give me that step up. I'm at a stage in my career where I can't keep fighting these fights that you know you're going to win and you just keep fooling the public at the end of the day. There's loads of fighters out there doing that. They're fighting bums, like knocking them out and getting um, like a false a, a false accreditation for it from the casual boxing fans. But if you know your boxing like, like yourself, you know what boxing's really about and to get to the top, you know what it takes and what questions have to be answered. Fair enough. I do want to talk about your trip to Dubai. I saw a picture that, you know, it made me smile. You know, it's a, it's a good picture for a lot of people that like you and Amir Khan upside down. Uh, there was obviously a little bit of a back and forth. <coughs> Things that were been unsavory at times, which you know we didn't want to see, but everything's been ironed out. Just talk to me about how, how everything went with between you and Amir. Yeah, no, it's all good, man. It's all good. Uh, like I said, we've got some brothers uh, out in Dubai who who sorted out the, the issue, and there wasn't really an issue there to begin with. I'll be honest with you. It's just like I said, just people causing shit at the end of the day. Uh, it is what it is, I suppose. It's life, isn't it? It's life. Uh, I've took this as one big, one massive life lesson. Uh, I'm a growing lad. I've said it before. I can use this as almost a reference point, reference point for when I for when I grow up. You know what I mean? I can look back at this and this is how I acted. This is how you shouldn't act. But yeah, no. Like I said, he's a great guy, man. He's, he's honestly, I've said it before and I say it again. He's a, he's a diamond guy. He's got a heart of gold, and he was giving me a lot of advice as well, man. We sat we sat down, spoke about whatever we spoke about, and I think now for the order foreseeable future, he'll be there. He'll be hopefully helping me, and just I can whenever I need something, or just pick up the phone and give him give him a call, man. So yeah, happy days. It's a lesson for both of you guys not to do interviews when you both go out heads. Because no, Amir did, I, I, I know Amir did them whilst he had a hot head and yeah, yeah, yeah. you've done interviews whilst you've done a hot head. You know what it is, you know what it is, it's people capitalise on it. 
As you would, as you would. I don't blame him for capitalising on it to get views and whatnot. But I really, really and truly shouldn't have done it. But like you said, when you think of a hot head, you regret what you do at the end of the day. Like, like I said, but the good thing about it is I can look back at it in the future and just say, like, I don't know, to someone who looks up to me or someone who's asked me advice, like, yo, don't do this because, look, it's, it's there. It's still there. It's not going anywhere. Just don't do it. <laughs> You know, I think I personally tried to stay out of it until there was a conclusion to this because it's not nice to actually get two people going, an ex-fighter and, and yourself. So it's good you've come together. Um, I do want to talk a few things boxing quickly before I let you go. You're flying out to the States. Next weekend in Vegas is a huge fight. To want to tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia, massive fight. Talk to me about that one, Hamza. How does that one play out? Listen, it's, 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 it's a great fight, man. It's a great fight for the fans. It's a great fight for the fighters themselves. Me, personally, I think Javonta is just that little bit more advanced experience wise um, ring generalship and knowledge wise as well that's a key thing especially competing at, at the level they're at so um, let's see how it goes I'm supporting Ryan Garcia because he trains at the same gym as me out, out in um, uh, out in LA so my full support's with him but really and truly I just feel that Javonta Davis is just gonna a little bit too much a little bit too much have you ever crossed paths? Do you ever watch him train? Has, has there ever been that point in the gym? No, we trained at the same time in the gym, but obviously he's like he's a superstar, bro. He's a he's a superstar. So when he's training, you got you can imagine you got all the cameras, you got people knocking the door. He's Ryan and he's Ryan training while all the cameras on him, bro. I'm honest with you, I'm just there on the corner, just working away on the bag, bro. Working away on the bag. Um, no one bats an eyelid, but it's good though, isn't it? Like inshallah, say I'll get get there one day. I can look at there and say, yo, yeah, that you, must know, be, remember when? <laughs> you know, like, uh, it's like when Amir Khan was in the same gym as Mani Pacquiao, Mani Pacquiao doing the big things and Amir Khan was still, he's a big star still then, but it must be inspirational when you see Ryan Garcia, all the, all the limelights on him, you can watch from the back and, uh, you know, take notes. Yeah, no, of course, of course. I never envy him though, never ever. Like, I look at him and I think, yo, like, I want to I be like that. Like, I want the cam I want to be in that position where the cameras are on me like that one day and just be be as big as boxing is now like be the be the guy like as soon as you say boxing or uk boxing you're thinking yo i'm the sure like as soon as you think american boxing ryan garcia comes to mind doesn't he because he's a poster boy for it so inshallah i can get my myself into like a into that stead hopefully inshallah so let's see how it goes in it uh one fight at a time though. i know i've got a long way to go yet i'm the list it's always a pleasure to talk to yourself no doubt you know the fans are going to look for your next fight because every time you step in the ring there's always entertainment yeah. but um yeah, man, we'll speak to you when you get back and when there's a final announcement for yourself. Thank you so much no, for giving us time. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll speak to you soon. Thank you.